I received a question on live chat about the Amtec uh, 3-in-1 pipe bender. It's stock code C2950. Uh, the question was how do you use it? So the purpose of this short video is just to show the tool being used. Um, it comes with three channels, little half circles here, 6mm, 8mm and 10mm. So it's for microbore pipe, often used in central heating systems, but also on some cars as well for solid fuel pipe. Um, it's used, I've got here two pieces of copper. This is the 8mm and this is 10mm, again used for microbore, might be going to your radiator, uh, things like that. Um, the tool is fairly simple, you place the copper underneath this support arm here, feed it round into one of the channels and then as you close the handle you can pull it round in an arc. So you can see here if the pipe was in here horizontal I can bend it round just over 90 degrees. Okay, so I'll show you, so you open the tool up like that. Um, I'll go with the 8mm uh, first of all, because uh, I've actually bent some of this because I've got it in my own house on the downstairs radiators. Um, it is copper tube, you need to make sure it's quite bright coloured. If it's old copper uh, tube it's probably aged and it gets a lot harder to bend because you've got to stretch the outside of the copper whilst underneath you're actually pushing it and you're shrinking it. So it's not unrealistic uh, that you'll get little tiny bend, uh, puckers on the inside of the bend because you're bending the copper into itself. But you just got to be careful and with a bit of practice you should get good results. So I'm going to put the copper pipe in here. Just bend it round. So now it's, you can see here how it's caught. And the knack with this is A, making sure that your copper is fairly fresh Otherwise you can anneal it, which means you put it into a flame and then put it into water to soften it. Uh, and then just basically go slowly because you are stretching metal. So take it easy and we'll come round and there's a scale on here which has got 90 degrees there and that's where we started from. So actually we've bent to 90 degrees and if I now open the tool up we've now made a 90 degree bend. And I've got minimal damage around here, a little bit of flattening, which again you get because the copper doesn't always uh, change shape uniformly, but there's no damage to the tube that would affect its ability to flow water around. So you can see how quickly I performed that. If I just went to the 10 mil, this is a bit tougher to do because the wall thickness on the 10 mil is a bit more solid. Again, put it into the tool, Open the top handle up. So I'm now going to go into the 10mm channel. And again, we'll come round, close it round so it's caught like that. And now again, just gently bend it like this. There we've made a 10mm copper bend. And as any plumber will tell you, a bend is far better for flow of water for maintaining the pressure than a fitting because the fitting is a lot tighter. This allows the water to flow around. So there you go, um, C2950, 3-in-1 pipe bender for 6, 8 and 10mm pipe. I hope that helps. If not, go to amtechdiy.com.